White spruce has gray, scaly bark, much lighter in color than either black or red spruce. I am walking through an old white spruce plantation. Here we have the light, scaly bark of white spruce. Next to it, we have the dark, scaly bark of black cherry. Behind it, more white spruce, red maple, getting bit by flies. I assume they're white spruces, Picea glauca, due to the light gray bark, due to the even-aged planting. Very often, white spruces are planted here. But if we wanted one more way to be sure, here's a cone. The comparative size between the red spruce cone on the left and the white spruce cone on the right is not a useful way to tell these two apart. White spruce can have much larger cones. Red spruce can have smaller cones. However, the shape is useful, and so is the color. The white spruce cone on the right is much lighter in color. The red spruce on the left is a darker almost richer red. The red spruce on the left is barrel shaped. It is widest towards the middle or just below the middle, whereas the white spruce on the right is cylindrical. It is oblong. It has practically parallel sides. This difference in shape and color is useful. Size may vary. And if we needed one more reason to be sure, this is a white spruce plantation, here we have the needles. These needles are glaucus. They are covered in a waxy covering. These waxy covered whitish bluish needles are distinct to white spruce or black spruce, but they are too long to be black spruce.